Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. What are the love messages for Aquarius? You got reconciliation. Hmm. You got mask. Family and proposal. Hmm. Tell me more for Aquarius, please. Secret admirer. There's a lot going on in this read. <laughs> I can't even make, make it out yet. Can't make out what's going on yet. Alpha male, a Bronx tail. <laughs> that rhymes. Um, differences, physical differences at odds, resolving an issue. What you think will pull you apart will pull you together. Changes on the horizon, outside opinions don't matter. Definitely get in that some of you are in either like an interracial relationship or just like a different kind of relationship. Not for all of you, but something about someone's family. But you have reconciliation, you have secret admirer as well. So it's like there's more than one energy here showing up for you. The person that Aquarius has in mind what are the energies between these two? Hmm. There is someone. Wow, what is going on here? You may have like an ex who is an enemy. Maybe that's who's on your mind. Because the person on your mind, they're not speaking to you. And they're not like seeing a future with you. But you have someone else coming in. Be careful if this ex tries to reconcile with you. Because we do have mask. And their energy towards you does not look good. So I don't know what this person wants with you, but there's someone else in your energy as well who has good intentions for you. So it's really about you stepping into this queen of swords, which is your energy and choosing the right person. <clears throat> a lot of you may be closing off from someone. Some of you are holding on to a past situation. I see you letting go of it soon. But hmm. yeah, there's some some of you Aquarius are having a hard time like moving on from a, from a person. Um, I'm not saying you're not gonna move on from them. It just be it just may mean that they're kind of stuck on, on your mind at the moment. Like you're moving on, but you still think about them basically. So maybe you want to cut the cords if you are trying to get over this person. Like if you know. If you feel like they're wrong for you but you can't stop thinking about them maybe do like a spiritual cord cut in because it could be that they're just kind of feeding on your energy because i do see that being this type of person who would want you to be in, in in your head about them so they can just steal your energy because thoughts are energy so if you're thinking about someone they're feeding on you you're thinking about them it's stressing you out it's ruining your day they're feeding on you okay so could be a scorpio could be a libra i see you definitely freeing yourself from this situation but it just looks really complicated and then you've got this king of cups here so there's like you could be really loving someone but they're not being fair towards you and there is someone who is admiring you from a distance who wants to give you that love but i don't know let me see what is coming up for aquarius when it comes to love what are the love messages for aquarius just 
two of swords yes yeah, some so, there's some aquarius watching this who are refusing to see that there's a bad relationship going on like a someone just wanting to feed on your energy Aquarius, I really hope you appreciate the truth because I'm about to give it to you. It's not going to hurt, but I am seeing that you are stuck on this person. Six of cups in reverse, seven of cups in reverse. You're completely disillusioned by this person. It could be that you were in the past and that you're finally seeing, but there's definitely some Aquarius people watching this who are still stuck on somebody. And that person has no intention of committing to you, truly. They may even be jealous of you. King, uh, not King, Knight of Cups in reverse. And it don't look, it just looks, I don't like how it looks. Okay, you got the moon in reverse. The thing is, this person sees you as overcoming this. So while they're, while they're trying to play you, they see that you're starting to see the truth. Some of you, they, you could even wonder if they're seeing someone else because you're seeing them as a six of pentacles. This person could be helping you financially or you're helping them. Why the moon in reverse? This, they're starting to realize that you're healing. Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why are they in this energy? You may be, I don't know if you get a lot of likes, a lot of followers, a lot of attention, or you're very attractive, but they're jealous of this look. Clarifying this jealousy situation with them is because you're, you, you're being looked at and praised. People like to look at you. And they don't like that. They think someone's going to come in and change things or make you see your worth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or Pisces. This looks like some of you are sleeping with an enemy. And the enemy is starting to realize that you don't need them or you're not going to need them in the near future. We have proposal here, so be careful if this person tries to propose or they put on a show and want this big reconciliation, want a family. Especially if, like, let's say you're growing, like more and more people are looking at you. This person, they may try to amp up the act, the love bombing. Clarify the Five of Swords in reverse. They see that you're going towards your purpose. But for some of you, they feel like you could still surrender to them. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Some of you, they may want to convince you that they've changed. If they, you see them as the Eight of Cups, but like if they come back, they're going to be trying to convince you that they've changed with the Wheel of Fortune. Well, you're seeing them as change. You're believing what they're saying. What do we have for Aquarius? Don't give up. Know your worth. Family again and be the change. So you are starting to see your worth more and more. You're not giving up on yourself. Something with family though. What is this? What's family talking about? You could have a, a dad or an older brother, some kind of male figure trying to help you, trying to give you advice, trying to protect you. Tell me more about family. 
some of you, your family is trying to give you advice. You're not trying to hear it. Some, some, some of you may have family coming to see you or you feel torn between your person and your family as well. Thing about family and friends is that they're on the outside, so they don't have emotions invested in a situation, so they could see the truth, just like how I could see the truth on the table. You will be moving forward with that six of swords, but why the seven of cups in reverse? Some of you have had a breakup with this person. You saw the truth, but you're moving forward with them with caution. Or some of you are planning to reconcile with them, but to keep your guard up or be cautious. I just feel like, what's the point? It's for some of you, it's almost like when I see people Googling like or looking up how to how to be how to have a successful relationship with a narcissist or how to change a narcissist. It's like there's no way. Why the six of cups in reverse? The thing is, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't know. You look like you're gonna take this person back, but you also look like you're freeing yourself, rebuilding yourself, starting new. So I don't know if there's like a group of you who is and a group of you who isn't, but there's two messages. There's you being stuck on a person. There's you realizing your worth and moving on, seeing the truth. So it's almost like there's either some of you are taking your family's advice and you are seeing your worth and moving on or you're just going through that process of how hard it is to get over someone toxic to gain your energy to get your energy back the ins and outs of that type of situation because it's showing me two sides show me the side of you that's kind of in it with this person even though they're bad for you and there's a side of you that is coming out of it so i'm getting that you shouldn't give up on yourself and that what you think will pull you apart will pull you together but it could be you as a person what could pull you apart as a person and what could pull you together as a person hmm. let me see what do we have for aquarius Triggers. This person knows how to trigger you. They know your insecurities. They know what, what kind of trauma you have. Because that's what they're attached to. We have there are other priorities. So they may prioritize other things over you. Lies and partial truths. Okay. And there will be a return. I do strongly feel like this person's coming back with a mask on. If you're in separation from them now and you are like elevating and you're getting more followers and everyone's looking at you and complimenting you and making you feel good, this person's coming right back in as your knight in shining armor wearing a mask because they don't want you to be free and liberated and praised and celebrated. This takes the control away from them. And your family and friends are warning you about this. Some of you are listening. Some of you are kind of still in it. But clarify this Ace of Cups, please. Some of you have, um, like this, this new love that they're offering you could block you. It is blocking the whole situation. So it could be blocking you from moving on. You have the six of cups, six of cups, six of, six of swords twice. Where you, there's part of you, you see, part of you moving on, part of you looking back and thinking that you should go back. Then you think, okay, I should know my worth and move on. Then you think about the good times and that you should go back. It's like, 
It's just how it is when you're leaving someone toxic. Clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse, please. King of Swords. Uh, it's kind of sad for me to say if you are one of the people who are moving on from this person then don't take this part but there are some of you who are going back to this person because you see that you think that they're putting in the work you're surrendering to it you're going back eight of cups in reverse there is a group of Aquarius people we're going to go through more cycles with this person and that's just what i'm seeing if you're not one of those people then great <clears throat> but i did see the two of swords peek out when i was shuffling and it's telling me that you some of you some of you refuse to see what's going on but i'm telling you this person is jealous because you're in the public eye the person who loves you wouldn't be jealous of your success and that other people love you They're starting to see that you are healing and elevating, and that's why they're coming back. What's the advice for Aquarius? Look deeper into the details. I knew these types of cards were going to come out. Yes. Soon. Time will tell. So for those of you who are going back to this person, time will tell. Time will... Sh uh, after, a, after a while, you will see what this is like. After a while, you'll see. They are really coming with a mask. They may even want to start a family with you. It could be someone who didn't want to commit and now all of a sudden you're in the spotlight and they're all of a sudden proposing because they know what you want with them. Some of you are taking the leap right into a tower, right into a, a, a situation that you know will inevitably crumble. And then there's the other group of you who are knowing your worth, not giving up on yourself. Some of you could already have kids with them. That could be why you're trying to make it work. Some of you are getting married to them. Others of you are seeing it and moving on and resisting them coming forward, trying to offer you the world, which is lies and partial truths. So I don't like the read. <laughs> I feel like I feel like <laughs> I feel like a therapist at the at my client is telling me, no, I'm gonna go back. I'm he's changed now. And it's like there's nothing I can do, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Um but time will tell. You do have a secret admirer. Some of you have a I'm gonna clarify that actually. Who is a secret admirer for Aquarius? What's going on with the secret admirer energy? Knight of Cups, upright. Someone wants to offer you love. King of Pentacles. Someone is against this as well. So it could be the ex or this person who you're kind of stuck on. The secret admirer is the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. These, this is the only positive part of this reading that I'm seeing. So there is someone else with eyes on you. And those of you who are like knowing your worth and moving on, you may find yourself coming in contact with this new person who has been wanting you, who's possibly financially stable, stable as a person. Could be a Taurus for some of you. But... 
this is just reading your energy currently and the choice is yours but there's definitely someone who really um has good intentions so there could be a capricorn involved a pisces scorpio cancer those are the main signs fellow aquarius as well so i hope this was helpful subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one